Hello, good morning, YouTubers. This is Dr. Ku Orofich. Welcome back to another edition. Today, a company in the UK sent me a product for me to review, and uh, I sincerely apologize for the long delay. It's uh, like 30 days now which they sent me this very item. Due to logistic reasons, the item didn't come on time, and I'm just receiving it today. So, and uh, after receiving it, I have a lot of things to do, which I decided to make a good time in order to be able to review this very product. So, apologies. Now, let's go into it. This is the item here. And uh, let me give you the tone so you can be able to read for yourself. So, it's Sync Wire Universal Car Mount for Dashboard. Simple, superior, and reliable. One thing I like is. I haven't opened this. If you look at it, the seals are still there intact. The seals are still there. I haven't opened it, so I want to open this with you guys so and be as transparent as possible. I've seen a lot of uh, stuff like this previously. Some I put my money on, and some of them are not as quality. But when this one came here, and it is, it is, you know, I think it weighs almost like uh, 600 grams or even more, something like that. I don't have a weighing scale here, but that's what it feels like. I'm going to be going ahead to open this up, then we take a look at it, so, uh, through here. Okay. Now, I've opened it. Okay. Now, when we, when I open it, these are things which I'm seeing inside it. I have not used this product for the first time, so I'm showing you guys what it came with here. So the first thing which I want to do, if uh, I may ask, okay, wow, it don't have a magnet right there, okay, and uh, inside this first lid, I'm going to drop this one, so let's take a look at this one, unbox this one and see exactly what's here, I think what I'm seeing here is the manual, the manual, the user's manual, and okay, the wipes, the wet and the dry, okay, that's the one first, and uh, we have a 3M sticker, definitely is going to be two-faced, and it has some sort of a magnet here. Wow, I, I will have to go through some ways to know how to set this up properly. Anyhow, uh, some of the warranty. And I really don't, I'm gonna be needing to tell this guy some other things. And this is the user manual. Wow, wow. Well, for it to have this kind of T-card user manual, <laughs> this is not just anyhow kind of a, a phone stand that you might just hang your phone on and it snap off and hit the bottom. This is another one. I, I guess it has two, and uh, it has two. It has two, but I'm going to be going through the main or two so I can be able to know exactly how to uh, install this card. So let me keep this aside. Let me keep this aside and let's go in more. Now the next two things I'm seeing here is I'm seeing one here that looks like a speaker. I haven't opened it, but let me go ahead and uh, open it and take a look at it. So we look at it together. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the release lock which you can twist and that's that's really looking cooler than I actually expected. Now, okay, let me still go for the more. I kind of like this because when I find a quality product, even despite the fact that I don't have all the money in the world, I want to buy them. You know the reason why? It's a long-term decision and it's a long-term solution. Now, we have the last one here which I want to take out and here you go. Okay, it does actually stick to the and that's all. So, I'm gonna gently remove it from here. And what I told you guys, oh my goodness, this is flexible. And you hear it's not flexible, it's cool, sorry. And with a whole lot of, this is not plastic. No wonder it does weigh that much. This is, this is a uh, metal. I don't think it's aluminum. If it's aluminum, it's not gonna be this, uh, uh, it, it's not gonna have this heavy uh, nest on it. Okay, I think I'm seeing something a little bit interesting here. First to say, clean, right? Clean the targeted area with alcohol pad. Leave for five hours at least after pasting before use. So you heard it right, after five hours, when you drop your phone on after using alcohol to clean it up before, leave it for five hours. That five hours, the glue should be able to cure with the device which you place on it. So that's when you're removing this. Right, so I'm gonna put this back. This I want to tell you guys here is I think this is definitely a slider. There's a slider out in as much as I have put here, so you can slide it way down. Okay, yes, I thought I missed that. You can see, so you can adjust it how you how you want it to suit. So 
Now it have a, a hinge here where you can, you know, depend on the position. But this is really solid. I was actually thinking that the inches here is going to be really free, but it is really, really strong that you have to, you know. So it's not something that you you place your phone right here and it will try to fall off easily. Now, because I didn't go through the manual before unboxing this, before reviewing this, I have to go through some of the technicalities to be able to know okay wait i got an idea since this one here is another metal uh thank you. yes and you can see that very solid logo right there it's, now i want to see something here okay now i got it. you see you can actually lose it out right the more you tie it uh, clockwise the more you get locked right that's using it for first time anti-clockwise you unlock it freely so you can get this one in here see i didn't even have to go through the manual to know how to set this up now you gently push this in are you serious sorry i made a mistake you don't need to push it in you just need to keep no you have to screw it in you have to push it in because if you don't push it in now this is some of those things that you do when you are actually using a product for the first time if it's not so simple you have to make a logical reasoning of how these things are connected to connect the dots right not to use it well so here by my first thinking i was thinking that it could stay like this but now if i get to start to screw it up screw it like this not screw it up they are detached it's not joining so which means you have to push it right but before pushing it make sure that this one this very other part is here so you push it just a little bit a little force is okay and it snaps in you hear that right now it's not gonna go off why do i know it's not gonna go off because it did took me some strain to push it in now from here now you can see it's moving all the way you can it's moving all over the place so that is where we can now start gently to tie this right be careful not to cross thread it so just to give you a very good view you want to make sure that you keep it on a very good uh, level before you can tie it clockwise okay now i've got it uh i missed it now i got it okay simple and easy now it's no more all over the place now by this i can tell for fact that uh definitely well we got another challenging part now which side actually uh, latched to the dashboard is it here or here that's another thing but in my own little understanding even without going through the menu everything which i'm doing right here i didn't go through the menu i'm just trying to see how easy it is for someone to use even someone who can't read and write so we just have a common sense and uh, i can tell that since here have you know a shifting uh pattern and here have a stable sticking place right and non-replaceable type so definitely this has to be where it fits under the dashboard it can comes into play i'm trying to do all this without going to the menu but it is also good if you don't want to do like i'm doing right now right if you don't want to crack your brain it's not this one that you're going to read you're going to read this menu read it carefully before installing it but so far so good there is something interesting i find here which i'm setting first i think they give you a double chance all right they give you a double chance the second chance i know a lot of things about this life and have a second chance but i give you a second chance you can see the parts of the same and the fit right here oh it's a magnet no wonder now it gives me a sense of understanding how they did this whole thing here and this is the most sweetest and important part why do i say that i say this because here they have just made me understand that this very surface where you have to pull this thing off is where you need to attach to the part of the phone where you want this thing to latch right so like if i want it to latch here then i want to attach it here just the same way you saw me do it right now you're gonna pull this off take this off then you attach it right here then here can you see it right now here I can now sit on the dash so when here sit on the dash you can you know you can use it as a gps you can use it as a whatsoever let's say you want to watch movie when you are not driving so it's perfectly cool and you know the good part of this whole thing here it will not fall apart now don't forget this very part here where you say you're going to wait for five hours this is where you're going to be placing on your dashboard because it's sticky all right you can put the magnet part on your dashboard but this side that is sticky so you're going to clean it and make sure there is no any that before you can be able to install it right there for most of you who are my audience you're going to be seeing this in my car all right i like the product and i'm going to be using it right now let me show you the one i have before uh they sent me this one something like this very company that's very manufacturer have been my kind of audience and i like that seem like they have been watching what i'm doing and see that i have the fake one it might not be completely fake 
right now let me flip the camera so i'll show you guys okay that's that's what is holding this camera right here right now so a lot of times i've had a problem where if i don't get this thing wet and i put it here my phone does fall off and i have a lot of crack on my screen right now because of it so but this one here it's not gonna happen because if suppose you decide that you want to mount it on the glass and follow the procedure be sure that the location where you want to put it is gonna be the best way but i suggest it's not gonna be good for the uh, glass but instead on the dash right so this one here it dance a lot but that's not gonna be the same thing with this metal type it's made up of rubber right and it's very cheap compared to this one that i have here so guys technically speaking this is the way to go for me right don't forget what i said it has magnet here you place it at the back of your phone and you remove this very elastic uh, stuff here and place it right here uh, place it at the back of your phone and you're good to go so i'm gonna be showing you guys uh i'm supposed to do it on my note 10 or note 20 ultra but since uh, my note 20 ultra is not here and this one is having jacket i don't want to put it on this one because it's, uh, the elastic is gonna lose out with time this is exactly what I'm talking about so as soon as you put it here then when you mount it on the dashboard then you can be able to put it so my overall assessment of this very uh, phone stand this is totally unbelievable and incredible I'm not saying this because they sent it to me I'm saying this from a realistic point so if you're buying this I'm recommending you guys to upgrade to this very version here because it's is a long-term decision and a long-term solution everything is seriously engineered for durability and uh so guys sync wire is a way to go when it comes to i might probably go ahead and check some of the product picture uh, because uh, like i often say if a company does something good right then there is a chance they're gonna do more more better product than i did so check them out and uh, i guarantee you you're not gonna be disappointed you can see it right there right so okay. now one other thing which i want to add quickly before we go about this very video here is that they did they try after removing this for instance so i'm going to remove this one so i'm going to use it for demonstration purpose and i'm going to place it at the back of my note 8 here now so if you look at in the market right now which i'm going to be displaying somewhere around here there are a lot of iphones newer model that have a magnet uh, mag save magnet save or something stuff like this at the back and some of them even have a, a magnet save a wireless charger so i am strongly believing that this very diameter here is equal to that which you're going to be finding there i've bought a lot of uh phone pouch like this that have the magnet save at the back and i didn't actually knew that something like this does you know exist somewhere so in that regard this is a very good i mean this is a company that is thinking ahead of the future so they already know what is existing and they create something that's going to blend into that very environment so in that regard you're not going to be needing to use this one but just use the one that is on your phone already which you find it on your iphone to just place it right there and it's done oh my gosh now here is the problem i got a problem the problem here right now is to take this thing out oh no i was only doing a demonstration damn it's too sticky i mean it's almost about trying to break right now and i don't want to ruin it please it's just for demonstration please it's just for demonstration oh and this even gave us edge to know what happened if you place it wrongly you can see how it has bent and it didn't break so gently gently just like i'm doing right now and you're gonna unstick it to stick it right it's good to make me second reviewing so you can know how the item is gonna add but the shape beveled right the shape uh bent to some point and at least i get to know more about this that this is some sort of a okay now i get the point so definitely the magnet part is here why the metal this is the metal i'm also considering the possibility of mounting it on my power bike so let me flip the camera so in mounting this on the power bike i think it's going to be either here or within the base uh, top of the tank here any of this position here is very very much okay so long as it's not going to obstruct the ignition system as much as the fuel and the test which i perform on this shot is very good so go ahead and watch it and see the reason why i think it's a good idea to also use it on your power bike and uh wow okay they have uh they have they're in poland they are in uh Duschdorf. is that Duschdorf? german german and they are in uk that's where they are their address but i'm certain what is their website again i need to check their website where is their website i oh oh, 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 oh. where is their website okay i don't seem to find their website on this very thing here but definitely it's gonna be on the manual i can see it 
but okay like in the manual that's the last thing which i want to do here before i go guys uh, sorry for taking you guys time all right the menu the manual is just as it is very easy they even laid out the diagram on how you can be able to couple this up and mount it up and pretty much like i said look at it it is just like i described it's just just like i have figured out even before reading the manual so i like a product that is very simple to use and simple to install that you don't have to crack your brain all it. you guys have to don't mind me swearing the heat here is really hitting the roof so guys uh i'll see you guys later tell me what you think about this if you have this right product and how many years i want to see your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think about this uh bye for now see you guys later or well, like i said the last thing which i want to say here is this is a very very good stuff solid product uh is there is no any sort of compromise the company that designed is i think probably they are in uk and in german and uh maybe they have a partnership in china i don't know but you know like we say chinese don't make a bad product it's dependent on the level of the money which you decide you want to put right or even the iphone which you're using is made in china so if you believe in iphone so much then if you're using them uh, i don't think you should have any problem with buying some product like this that's gonna save your phone from hitting the rock and going ahead or close the screen so okay guys i'll see you guys later bye for now so don't forget what i said about my overall this is solid really really solid the spring is not looking like something that's gonna give out anytime soon and it's really really strong and this one here also everything is really durable it's really strong and very nice quality i'll see you guys in some other time bye for now see you guys later i will try to leave a, a purchasing link believe below this very video description so it's gonna help you to purchase whichever place you are right if you have any further questions concerning sync wire uh phone uh phone uh holder drop me a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to attend to you as soon as possible. Bye for now.